What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, well, it's funny, because every time we have one of these weeks where there's like not a lot to actually cover, or go over, or really anything most players should do, even this, like, uh, I'm, I'm just... I'm not doing these moonlight gifts anymore personally. Uh, even then, it's not really content to cover. My mind starts going into this mode of like theory crafting because that's one thing I always like doing is theory crafting and thinking ahead. And one thing I'm wondering, as we all know, earlier this week, we got the soul perfection system added into the game. Probably one of the worst, or not even worst, just most useless update we've seen in a very long time because I mean, even whales don't really have a use for this. You're better off literally just taking whatever starry gems you do have, coming to the auction house and being like, okay, uh, let's see, I want it. I hate, I hate this. This is one thing that gets me every time where it doesn't actually search for it. Uh, you come on over here and like, oh, look, they're actually, the prices are over here. We're, um, the, 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 okay, I want a jar. I'm just going to buy the jar. There's no way I'm taking a B plus jar and upgrading her into an A minus. It would just be a complete waste of resources in general, like just really 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 bad but what i was thinking is what if they actually implement something into the game that makes this more usable because i mean even myself i'd love to try to upgrade this a tier up to an s tier and get a fourth roll on the copy that would just be that would be amazing but in the current form that's just not really viable and what i really hope is People who have gotten the B plus stones from events and stuff like that that don't have a giant killer copy yet, I hope one day we can actually have free to play players have a strategy where upgrading a copy will definitely be worthwhile because as it sits like right now, it's just, it's way too expensive. Even for a free to play player, they're better off selling all their B and B plus copies on the auction house and slowly saving up because even like these, I mean, God, it's again, you see, I hate, I hate this. I hate this so much. It never updates properly ever. <laughs> and then go to buyout price. I mean, just sell all your B copies for 450 a piece. I mean, that is a lot of B copies you will have to sell. But if you get into the 15 to 20,000 starry gem range, you can now think and consider of buying giant killer copies. Now it might not be the big hitter copies that you see out there, like the Vulcan or the Mockman or the Aspen or any of those. Granted, their prices are still dropping day by day. It actually looks like Lord of Fear Aspen is the one holding the highest value, which definitely makes sense uh, for most game modes. But you're better off doing that than ever considering using those resources to upgrade a B tier in here. However, what if they add something to the game which we've seen an increasing amount of over the years, and that is bot puppets. What if in events they start giving away puppets just as progression rewards? Now, one that I'm considering would be the kind of the best. Honestly, I think we have Next week, we have the new hero coming out, Betty, uh, the shadow hero. At least that's what we think she is. Uh, we should be getting uh, a... We get a Soul Awakening Gala? Actually, I don't know. Uh, what I would think would be really cool is to have Soul Awakening Galas, which I can't show you right now, or even Moonlight Gifts, start giving B and B plus tier units to use as fodder. Now, sadly, that would still mean you need to get A minus units to actually upgrade the heroes because I haven't actually showed it to you because there's no way I'm wasting that. But once you even get her into the categories where she could become an A minus hero, you then need to feed like 5B plus, 5B, and 5A minus heroes, and that's just not cost effective. So if you can somehow get puppets into the game in some way or form, I think that would probably be the best route to doing this because even myself, I've started selling my B tiers off to get additional starry gems because, well, I have enough contract starry gems right now. I don't necessarily have to keep retiring. What I can do is I can keep retiring these like low tier units that I don't necessarily care about. Uh, and that'll help me get the Soul Awakening Galas, the Soul Awakening Session, getting all these straight out, straightened out. But I think that is something I'm going to pass feedback on is we need puppets with graves. Now, definitely not C tier because as we know, those are useless to us completely because you can't use those in the system. You can't trade them. Uh, but what we need is like the B minus, B and B plus 
maybe even a my i mean i think there does need to be introduced an a minus i just feel like those will probably be very hard to acquire as a free-to-play player anything seen below kind of useless like they're not even really let's be honest they're not really usable i have a ton of copies in here just for randomness remember the days back when we cared about interdimensional arena we just put awakening on every hero yeah that feels like a waste nowadays especially considering the way the game is going but uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Because again, I get into these theory craft methods and I want to hear what you have to say. I'm not going to blabber on for like a bunch more minutes. That's where I'm going to cut it off right here. Let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear feedback for you. All these topics here today. See you guys next time.